So this is another interesting LED light bulb from eBay for just about 75 cents. And this one came in a nice box which wasn't even crushed by the postage. And it is called 9 watts. It cost me about 75 cents and I've got this one so cheap because of the eBay trick I was telling you about in one of my videos. Simply there is a listing with this light bulb on eBay and it comes in different options. In cool white and warm white, in 220 volt and 110 volt version, and in four different sockets like E27, E14, B22, and G9. So this is two different colors times two different voltages times four different sockets, and in total you have 16 combinations. And those are just different options of the same LED, in fact. And out of those 16 options, 15 of them cost $2.5 and only one combination cost 75 cents. So there is usually one super cheap option in the listing and the sellers do this trick because if you sort the listings the cheapest first, they will get to the top of the search results. And in this listing the secret combination was the warm white, in 220 volt version and B22 socket. In some listings there is just so many combinations that this one is really hard to find. So let's test it. And I have actually bought this one without having a socket for it, but it doesn't matter because I am going to disassemble it anyway. So let's test it a dodgy way. And don't try this at home. It works, it's a little bit flickery and the power is 3.3 watts. That's nice. It's definitely not the 9 watts, but it is so far the most powerful one for 75 cents. So let's open it up. It was easy. And there is a capacitor, it looks like a capacitive dropper. This one is 680 nanofarads rated 400 volts. And this one is 2.2 .2 microfarads and also rated 400 volts. There is also a bridge rectifier and three resistors. One of them is 101, this is 100 ohms. And the other two resistors are 105, this is 1 mega ohm. The 100 ohm resistor probably is the inrush limiting resistor and those two 1 mega ohm resistors are probably for discharging of those two capacitors. Yeah, that's it. And there is 8 boards with 3 LEDs each and another 6 LEDs at the top. So in total there is 8 times 3 plus 6 and this is 24 plus 6, this is 30 LEDs. And the box also says this, 30 SMD LEDs in 50-50 package. Those packages are standard 5 by 5 millimeters, and each package contains 3 chips. But it looks like the chips are in parallel in this case. I have made a schematic of it and it's really simple. The mains comes in, it goes through the capacitive dropper with the capacitor and the resistor, then it goes through the bridge rectifier, then it goes to the filter capacitor and its discharging resistor, then it goes through the inrush resistor and finally through those LEDs. There is 30 packages in series and each package contains 3 chips in parallel. There is 30 chips in series and each one is about 3 volts. So I guess the total voltage of the LEDs will be about 90 volts. This socket is completely useless for me, so let's modify it. And this is going to be dangerous. So definitely don't try to do this. And the voltage is about 89 volts. That's close. And the current is 
I will short one of the LEDs with my current meter. One LED doesn't change much in total of 30 LEDs. About 34 milliamps. So at about 3 volts and 34 milliamps, the power of one package is about 100 milliwatts. The design is not so bad, but for safety reasons I would like to have a fuse or fusible resistor here. And also this filter capacitor could have a higher value so that it doesn't flicker so much. So this is Diagon Wild and see you in my next videos.